pronounce your name, Andrea? Andrea. Yeah, from Italy. Right. I'm married in the Italian language. Yeah. yeah. From where? Bologna. 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 Yeah, that's where I study at university. Yeah. Bologna. Yeah. Very good. Um, so Andrea uh, Mengucci. Mengucci, yes. Right. Yep. Um, so we've we've just finished four rounds in yeah. our event, yeah. and you are four zero. Four, yeah. So undefeated. Yeah. And obviously, black white. Yes. Could you explain to us why you chose the cards you did? It may be obvious to some. It's okay. So I went black because of Liliana, the last book. Yep. Uh, it's one of the cheapest walker in each set, and uh, it's very, very good. All the walkers that are so cheap, three mana, they're just so good. For example, um, the last game on round four, I just played this on turn three, and it, it was like impossible for opponent to attack it and gamble them, and yeah. you, can, you can beat him. And then I chose white. Uh, I chose white because of uh, it has a lot of uh, good creatures in sealed, uh, mostly in every even in draft. But in sealed, uh, you need the uh, like, creatures. Very often the problem is just that uh, with two colors you don't get to enough creatures. I feel that white uh, has a lot of creatures. Another color could have been green, but uh, I think that this is the best combination. Also, a Python Bishop. Uh, which is uh, another great card. It's just a flyer, so it is a creature, which is important, and also has this uh, great ability that it just creates clues that at the beginning of the game they're not that useful, but later you will really need the clues because you'll eventually have a fluid or stuff like that. So, you, Bag of Bishop is an insane card. And also, yeah, I like a uh, uh, two more removal spell. I was going to ask, a lot of um, players who are just getting into this or yeah. inexperienced players get attracted to the removal and, and tend to look at that and, and ignore other aspects of the deck building. How did you go about your removal? It's important to understand that you don't have to overload on removal spell because otherwise you could just put a removal spell on mediocre creature that you could just trade. For example, a 3-2-4-3 three, three, three is always a removal spell because it's not, you're going to block your opponent creature. So this is just like Gunnover Emrakul, you know, more or less. I, I'm just saying that you can't overload on creature uh, on removal spell. You need your creature to, you know, uh, act as a removal spell and as a light leave draw, live draw. Once you just empty the board. Mm, okay. So in terms of removal, what have you found most useful so far? Yeah, as you see, I have a lot of removals. Yeah, also, the important thing is not play too many spells. As I said, so like eight spell is the the correct number. I feel like. So I play this two certain death, which is like a great card. You can even splash this card. It's just a, uh, unconditional removal spell with a with a nice you know little swing. It's just great. Absolutely. Throttle, it's old, and everyone. Like it's a minus four, minus four, which is regular. Instant speed is the most important part. This is a new card. This is a, I haven't played with this card yet, and I've been so impressed. So, as additional cost to cast root of disposal, you discard a card and sacrifice a creature. As you see here, I have two creatures that are ready to be sacrificed. Uh, or also like Tavern Inspector, or you know, as a, sometimes you can just two drops just don't get in anymore, so they're great to be sacrificed. And two target creature gets minus 13, minus 13. And that's just in the in, like two removal spell unconditional. Uh, you know, later in the game, so it might be like a uh, creature that your opponent invested mana, like the new transform creatures. You know, your opponent might invest like three plus seven mana, and you just get rid of them. Uh, I think this card is just very good. Also, you discard a card, usually, you know, late game you have lands. Exactly. It's important to, to keep lands in hand. For that reason, uh, yeah, then, you're not you're not the first player today to explain how useful this card has been. Okay, um, but I, I love the way you uh, you draw the synergy between these and, and, yeah. and this spell. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Another another great card in my deck is Faith Unbroken. Faith Unbroken is uh, um, like Obligor Ring, but as a big downside is that if your opponent kills the creature that uh, you enchanted, it's a two for one because it gets back the the creature removed. So it's important for you to again put on this so yes. that you don't get two for one or that protect with selfless spirits. Or you have uh, Iracon's Lip. Iracon. Iracon Slayer, which gets back an enchantment or an aura. So I get back this. Mm -hmm. If your opponent, so it's not two for one. So it's important in order to play this card uh, to not get two for one. Like if your opponent has, uh, I don't know, just a bounce spell or stuff like that, it, it's important to, to you know, uh, have the option to sideboard this out if you feel like you can get two for one. It's a really nice analysis, a beautiful synergy in there. Was there something in your sideboard that you wanted to to include, or so yeah. that's sort of just in white magnet? I think I made the, the deck in like really very quickly because uh, I couldn't really put yeah, that yeah. I, I, I couldn't really add anything else. Um, this is my sideboard. I I haven't sideboarded that much today. Uh, 
this is a four mana three three madness, which you know could be fine because of this curve. Yeah. But I wanted to maximize the two three drop for Bygone Bishop, and I only I don't have that much madness. The only card, the only way this card out like are this and this. So I felt like I I, I just it's a vampire horror, so I don't get the bonus of humans. I felt like it's just vanilla a giant. I didn't need it. Um, up of the Brute is a card that you always said without the uh, Cerberlin against Green. Because Green has very, very big creatures. Because you want, like, I didn't, I didn't want to play main deck because I already have a lot of removal spells. So I don't want to overload it. But against Green, it's a nice two for one. And it's always important. And that's basically it. I think uh, the deck was very easy to build and it was very powerful. I. Uh, I mean, I got oh, pretty good draws. Undefeated in round four, so yeah, yeah, it's working. It's, it's working very well. Yeah. Yes. So, just quickly, what was your toughest matchup so far? I know you've beaten everyone you've come across, yeah. but but in terms of who you sat across the table from, hmm. what was the hardest match today? Uh, I would say last round I played against the uh, red green. That uh, every, uh, all the three matches played uh, uh, three mana one for each. When you cast an instant or sorcery, you deal one damage to a creature. So as you see, uh, my two drop are always two one three one two one one one, and uh, it, it gets paired with like uh, two damage. So it, de it deals with my three drops. So that card was great, and uh, it made me sideboard like four. I, I boarded out these four cards right. because I couldn't be not only that, you know, make me shift one damage, and yes. uh, yeah, and also he had the, the uncommon that deals one damage to all your opponent creature. Yep. So uh, doing that, I overload on uh, you know bigger stuff. Uh, this, I, I put in this, I put in this, and uh, this, so that, yeah, I slow my deck a lot, but he is a slow as well. So we drag out longer, and maybe he had this one damage that didn't do anything, and I just, you know, played the 4 mana 3-3, three, three, and, uh, yeah. and that's it. But obviously it worked. Yeah, it, it, it went well, I mean, I had the edge really on, so everything went easier. But and I think the plan uh, was, uh, was more fine. Well, look, thank you very much for your time. And uh, good luck in the rest of the day. Thank you. Hope to see you in the top eight. Thank you. Thanks.